Hi, it's Kirith here with another Gran Turismo video and this time we're going to be looking at Daily Race B and racing in a very high split lobby here, so some names you might recognise, Halbstar, Roswald, Scorpion GT, so some very highly ranked drivers, probably quite a high split lobby. And just what I want to show you is how different the racing is in high split lobbies from the lobbies I was in previously. So if you recall, I had my DR demoted all the way down to D when I had my SR reset. So I've really been all the way up through the lobbies, now racing in A, A plus lobbies. And I can really see the difference. So th this video, I just want to show you that if you can get up to these high lobbies by using some of the techniques that I've talked about previously, like qualifying well, track familiarization, then you're going to have a much better quality of race than the low lobbies. I can, I can tell you that for free. As we go outside the VW here before turn one, that's just how powerful the Nissan GTR is. That's why it's my car of choice at this track. It can get you out of trouble if you have a bad exit from a corner because the car behind is unlikely to get past from the straight, to be honest, as we'll see in this video. Going through the tricky part of Dragon Trail Garden, there's this little chicane here with the nightmarish sausage curves. That's Costas, who qualified on pole, I think with a time that was either very close to the top 10 or, or even in the top 10 at the time of this race, so he's already had a bit of an issue getting out of that complex here. As we go into the hairpin at the bottom of the track, people often break too late here just about get through okay so if you keep an eye on the radar you'll see the space that we give each other in these lobbies it's much greater than low lobbies where people aren't alongside they'll go for a dive bomb they'll nudge into you they'll push you off track they'll punt you off into corners you'll be familiar with all that stuff already from your own racing and duty sport but here you can see it's slightly different there's a, there's a little bit more respect for me that makes a much bigger difference so just move my microphone so i can see the radar you can see just how close we are there um, but no contact and gonna go into the last corner of the Nissan GTR pulling away giving myself a little bit of a safety buffer here as we go into what is a very tricky corner you have to go down into first gear and then back up to second try and get on the power super early and although that um, VW might have got a better exit than me he's gonna struggle now if you look at the cars ahead there was a bit of kind of side to side but no one got pushed off the track it didn't boil over no one's in the barrier, that's something I really saw as I was going up through the lobbies, but not here. And the Portuguese driver manages to make his way through, but Greek, no, thinks about having a look, but then thinks better of it. As we go through this complex again, am I going to get completely over this sausage curve this time? Yep, yeah, so that's a good exit through that part. And then taking it a little bit easy around the outside there as Roswald spins off, so the top ranked driver in this race, he's off. So, I mean, that exit or that corner can cause you serious difficulties if you get on the power too early if you hit that last oscar so going around here and one oh, okay right i just touched the greek driver just a little tap but i take it easy i don't want to cause any other problems so yeah that's my fault made a bit of contact there and i've lost a few pages because of it but it's not like you were seeing a lower ranked lobby where that would inevitably result in someone going off the track and getting completely spun around so we're still in the mix of things he's in the mix of things so all in all no one's race has been ruined really as these two drivers going side by side into this very difficult, complex, all about throttle control here. Just very gentle with the throttle and the as you can, Max out now. Are we going to be able to catch Scorpion GT again? Let's see. Got another VW behind, but we won't have to worry about him too much. Roswald behind him. Think about having a little go there, but decide better of it. And a nice little battle we've got going on here with these five cars. We've got a Ferrari in there. Is it a couple of VWs and a couple of GTRs? So different cars being used in this race, which is always great to see rather than the kind of one make procession. And really having to try and avoid making any mistakes here because the competition is just so fierce. Right, we're going to go into the chicane complex at the beginning of the track again, which can really separate the men from the boys. If you get this wrong, you'll be a sitting duck down the straight because the Ferrari gets quite sideways. I get a good exit out the first part of the kerb. And yeah, that'll do for me. Oh, just got a little bit sideways um, at the end there, but the VW behind is not going to catch me up. Probably too far away to have a look down the inside. You can see the guys ahead, basically three abreast going into there. Um, and the Portuguese driver ends up getting nudged wide, but again, doesn't spin out, doesn't get back into the path of me as I um, go past him. So he, he's gone down into the last place, but he could have basically destroyed our race there by kind of desperately trying to get back onto the racing line. He didn't do that. And I think that, again, is the difference in these lobbies. You know, it's only a game. We're going to fight another day. <laughs> it doesn't have to be life and death at every corner, which is something that I 
experienced in the lower rank lobby. So hopefully you're enjoying this and if you do like these videos please feel free to subscribe. Please ask any questions you have in the comments. Always really enjoy asking them because you can see I'm, I'm moving up the lobbies a little bit, getting a little bit better at GT Sport, racing with some of the top guys. So hopefully you can try and give you an insight into that and hope to see you in the same lobbies as someone else spins out there. Um, and Scorpion GT, not sure why he went wide, maybe tries to do an evasive maneuver, but anyway, gonna be back up into ninth place. Got a couple of Greeks ahead now, so gonna have to use my Nissan GTR as a kind of Trojan horse and get past those Greek walls. Um, sixth place ahead of him and fifth as well, so I'm keeping in touch here, which is good to see. Um, really enjoy racing in these higher rank lobbies, these high split lobbies, just because you have to raise your game, I find, um, because the standard is so high. You can't be sloppy. I can think we can see there the leaders ahead, maybe. So great to be keeping up with these guys. Anything can happen on this track. Um, because we're using racing hard tyres, it just means that you have to be super, super careful as you get on the throttle because there's a lot less grip than you see with the racing softs. In um, some of the league races I do, we often use racing softs, which means that the racing is even closer, but hard to mean... Man, it's tough. You've got to be really careful getting on the power. Um, speaking of leagues, I had a Club 100 kind of team versus team race recently. Got a video of that up on the channel. I'll put a, try and put a link to that as well here so you can see it. Um, absolutely fantastic team racing with the Club 100 guys. Some really fast drivers, GT Academy finalists, people racing in top split FIA races, people setting top 10 times in the daily races. So that was probably the, the highest stand of the field I've ever raced in, probably on any game ever um, so take a look at that if you like this kind of high standard of racing as we're going to go around here for the last lap a second behind but in the nissan gtr going to be reading in this greek driver ahead setting a, a fast well my fastest lap still a second slower than the uh, cross lap of the guy in first place which is a, a really fast time for the race actually so anyone going to spin off here wouldn't object to anyone having a little moment here other than myself as I take it easy going around both these curbs, not trying to ride them. Um, very useful for karting as well. Often a lot of um, chicanes, corners in karting have sausage curbs on the outside. And if you end up riding a sausage curb in karting, it can be really bad. You end up riding that curb all the way to the end and getting spat out. So good practice here for karting. Not going to be doing the upcoming Club 100 test days just because I don't think that's the best use of my time because the time you have in the car is relatively short so I'll probably be down at Daytona in their two-stroke um, D-Max carts sometime soon just getting acclimatized again got to lose a bit of the quarantine weight that I've put on lost a bit of weight in the shoe then put it all back on um, lost a bit of muscle as well so you have to work out get back into karting shape and then we'll be back in a Club 100 cart in pretty short sure order some videos there so we're going to go around here the final corner you can see a couple of guys are side by side ahead um, hopefully no one's going to spin out because always it's not great to spin out on the last corner of the last lap and we're going to finish here in ninth place which is um, not a bad position for me considering the strength of the lobby another race where I've had to kind of raise my game keep up with these guys and that's always good to see you can see Marinello, Halpstark, Oaks Mead I think Oaks Mead had a very fast time as well there in that race so hopefully you enjoyed that. I just wanted to show you really the standard and the closeness of racing that you have in the high lobbies. And if you can get there, then you're going to have a lot more fun, basically, than if you're racing in the lower lobbies. So yeah, that's it for me for this video. Got a Club 100 race and I racing coming up later today, which I may live stream. If you do want to see some live stream or other types of videos, let me know in the comments. Very happy to hear your feedback. But until then, I will see you again next time.